every once in a while we see a phenomenon of a game take the internet the world by storm the moment you have a successful game you always have the ripoffs and this has been st shown and stated for so long everybody knows it so i don't think i really want to discuss much about it but that's what this game's about this game that i'll be uh, doing a tutorial on today uh we've had many games popular in the past such as PUBG, CSGO, Fortnite. I can keep going, but we only have a few minutes here. So, yeah, I'll stop. But the one that's been taking the internet by storm lately has been a very interesting strategy based game called Among Us. Among Us is a different type. We haven't seen a game like Among Us probably ever, actually. We haven't seen a game quite like it be so popular and get so popular so quickly. Uh, anyway, today we'll be talking about its robot called Imposter on Roblox. And I'll be teaching you guys exactly how to play Imposter and how to do well. That you can have lots of fun. Yeah, let's, let's hop straight in. In Imposter, you have multiple people and you have two types of people. You have normal people, innocents, and you have imposters. If you are an innocent, your job is to try to complete all the tasks before the imposters kill everyone. And if you're an imposter, your job is to kill everyone or to stop their tasks for long enough so that you win. Some popular tasks uh, that you'll see, for example, is a wire one. Uh, you'll see exclamation marks all around. And you have to go to those tasks. And if you're an imposter, you can undo those tasks. But if you're innocent, then you have to go to those tasks. Really, really simple to understand. Anyway, imposters kill people, especially when it randomly gets dark, because sometimes in the game it gets dark randomly and you have to go and fix the lights. That's the peak time that the imposter kills. What you have to watch out for if you're playing as an innocent is especially those times, and if you have to move, try to move with a group so that if one person dies, the other person can report the body immediately and they'll know who wins, know who killed the person. It's GG's after that. If you're playing as an imposter, try to cut out the lights so that you can go and kill people during that time. Especially the lights one works really well, the oxygen one works decently well, but not as good as the lights one because the oxygen one you'll have to go and stop it, otherwise it will, uh, if you don't stop it, the imposter wins. But it's not like the lights are off, so you can still see. And if you're an imposter and somebody finds a dead body, in that case, what you want to do is you want to kind of shift the blame onto someone else. Or just pretend like you're a normal person and pretend to be scared. And especially have an alibi. And alibis are uh, not too hard to get as an imposter because if you're away from someone for 10 15 seconds, then you can kind of just say, you know, hey, kill someone in like a secluded area so that by the time you're back with them, they discover somebody discovers that their body and you like, oh crap, I wonder who it was. So that's the thing. And another thing is, if you see someone using a vent, you know that's an imposter because only the imposters can go through vents. Now vents are secret passageways, which you can basically, which only the imposters can pass through, to go from room to room and kill people. So that's about it. I hope you have a great time, and be sure to like and subscribe if you got to this point. Have a great day. Bye.